need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. On a monitor, all images must be displayed in pixels on screen. So before we can manipulate the images, we must learn more about how pixels are displayed and measured. When an image is displayed on your monitor, it's rendered according to the pixel dimensions of the graphic and the display settings and size of your monitor. The image's pixel dimensions are the width and height of the image in pixels. The number of pixels displayed in an image is measured in pixels per inch, or PPI. Generally speaking, the higher the PPI, the higher the quality of the image. The digital size of an image, usually measured in kilobytes, megabytes, or gigabytes, is proportional to the pixel dimensions of an image. Images with a higher PPI may have a higher resolution and may produce greater detail when printed, but they may also print more slowly and take more disk space for storage. Photoshop supports a maximum pixel dimension setting of 300,000 by 300,000 pixels per image, which is huge. You should be aware that resizing an image to pixel dimensions greater than 30,000 may render the image incompatible with older versions of Photoshop and or other applications. You can make adjustments to the size of an image by using the Image Size dialog box. You can access this dialog box by selecting Image and then Image Size from the menu bar. We'll see the dialog box right here. Now, you select Image Resize and Image Size if you're using CS2 and previous versions. But in this dialog box, you can select how it should resample images when the size of the image changes. When you increase the size of an image, you add new pixels to the image. These new pixels will be added to the image based on the color values of existing pixels in that image. Make sure to check the Constrain Proportions checkbox. That's located right here. And this will automatically change the height and width of your image as you change the other one while keeping your image in proportion. Scale Styles, located just above that, that checkbox right there, allows you to scale any effects applied proportionally when you resize the image. Otherwise, you might end up with a warped image. You specify an interpolation method using the drop-down menu to the right of the resample image checkbox in the dialog box, right here. And you can generally resample down and not lose image quality. However, resampling up or adding pixels can often result in an image that is a little bit blurry. As far as methods of interpolation go, you can select either nearest neighbor right here, which is fast but of less quality than other choices. You could also select bilinear, which results in a medium quality image, bicubic, which is the default for a slow but more precise method. You can also set the bicubic resampling to favor producing a smoother or sharper image by selecting either bicubic smoother or bicubic sharper. But once you have your settings set the way you like, then you just click OK to resample it or resize it, or you can click Cancel if you don't want to complete those changes. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.